Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Daniel Roy, and his call sign is KA1BNO. He says, to make more mounting space on my 40-foot tower for 2-meter vertical antenna, such as the Diamond X30A vertical, could I mount the antenna upside down about three feet off the side of the tower using a side uni-strut bar and still get proper radiation? The answer is complicated, and let me show you why. We're going to use the overhead for this. Now, let's take a look at a vertical antenna uh, like this with a few radials down here, okay? The radiation pattern of that is a lot like this, and it does the same thing all the way around, okay? Note, straight out, up. Now, in many conditions, if you're putting this on a roof, that's fine. However, this right here is a problem if you're trying to transmit down. And it depends entirely on your local situation. For example, if you live on the top of a hill, okay, or near the top of the hill, and you've got a tower, you want to mount the antenna upside down. Okay, so that your major radiation lobes are like that. Okay? If, however, you are in a flat area, like this, and you've got a house, and there are all the other houses over here. You want to mount that thing up so that you get this kind of a radiation pattern. Now, there are other antennas designed to be mounted on poles. And here's your tower uh, with all the crossbars and stuff like that. This goes out, attaches here. There's a pole here. And what you have coming out of this is a loop. And uh, some antennas have four of these. And you shape the directionality of in which direction you point these. If you point them all in one direction, your antenna radiation is over there. If you put them around the thing, so that you got one coming out here, one going in here, one coming out here, one coming out here, and scratch that one, you have omnidirectional radiation. This is what's used for repeaters, okay? And they go both up and down. So if you've got some significant height and you want to uh, get a nice omni pattern or even a a pattern a little bit in the other direction, you can go with an antenna like that. Now, are those antennas cheap? No. No, they are not. So if you're going to mount and you're in a, a usual type of a situation, mount the antenna, point it up, okay, and you'll get radiation patterns like this. And with the thing being up in the air, you're going to get a bit of a dip down here anyway. Okay, if you're in a very high spot, flip the thing upside down. Okay, because it's working against its own counterpoise. There you have it. We've taken a look at a couple options, including a couple, what I would call, uh, pro-am type of uh, uh, antennas that will work off of a tower, especially one that is high in the air. And uh, you can, yes, make those yourself if you want, but uh, whatever you find works for you. If you are still confused, try the antenna in both directions. I mean, you've got your arm coming out the side from the tower, and you can have it go up or you can have it go down. Try both, have your friends listen, 
and give you an answer as to which gives the strongest signal strength. Okay, and it may vary in direction based on the fact that you've got that great big tower for it to bounce off of. It will tend to favor a direction away from the tower. Okay, if you would like to help support this channel, please go to patreon.com slash ke0og and look for a way that works for you. And until we next meet, 73. <music>